Pro Leaf Nation, it's happening. We're doing another Q&A session, I'm trying to bring some value, help you guys. Uh, everybody's at home, in quarantine, doing their work. So I love seeing all the people going IG Live now. I was seeing how many people are, are launching their own IG live streams and it's, today's been insane. I've never seen so many people go live on IG. I think it's amazing, it's great. People spreading value, trying to be of, uh, maybe some voice of reason or inspiration in some crazy times. But uh, I'm happy to be here, be here. want to answer your questions, want to give value, want to help. Hello, Benjamin. Hello, Yuko. Hello, Karima. Let's bring in, let's bring in Yuko and see how I can help. Out oh, made a sale. Congrats, Jeff. Yuko, mama. Hello. How are you? Hi, Evan. Good. How are you, Evan? How are you how are you doing self isolation or what are you up to yes and my i'm in my basement really self isolation <laughs> now, are you are you still doing can you do the the hairdressing are you doing it uh actually uh the, some of my clients like i have some clients like being flew outside of canada like you mm -hmm. know visiting somewhere in the family i've been telling them no like you know two weeks yeah but the, so far, I'm not my regular clients, local friends, people. I'm yeah. still kind of taking, see yeah. how it goes. It's oh. it's a little tough decision. Yeah, I mean, at, at TDS, we just we just closed down for two weeks. Did you? Uh, oh. Yeah, Alex was heartbroken over. He didn't want to, but uh, oh. Uh, and in New York, it just shut down bars and restaurants. And anyway, really, people, oh. people are panicking, but. Yeah. What do you got? How can I help? How can we bring some value? Okay, so uh, I think I've asked you a little bit at uh, workshop, not workshop, uh, the group, the Facebook group things okay. too. It's a very similar things. Like eventually I want to do, I want to help out the women to be a confidence, to have more confidence. Mm -hmm. And then mostly Japanese girl. So means I can help some Japanese girls locally here, like need up something. But at the same time, uh, most of the people I wanted to connect, it's in Japan. In Japan. They're, yeah. yeah, they're in Japan. Yeah. So what, from the now, Japanese community is, is tiny here. It's, yeah, it is very tiny. Even if Toronto or Niagara Falls is even smaller too, right? So, so it's, it's good to... I'm very lucky because I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagrams. Mm -hmm. So from now on, I think I'm going to use more. I've been testing with through Facebook now mm -hmm. because I got most of my Japanese people like, you know, Facebook. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about Instagrams, but uh, like, you know, I just trying to spread the message mainly like, you know, do it live or something through Insta, uh, Facebook. So, is and this, so the last time that we connected, the Japanese part was new. Like, this is new, the Japanese part. It used to be yes. just women. So yes. what's the shift to now says Japanese women specifically? Uh, well, I've been trying to spread the message. And I get more feedbacks. The girls from women's from Japan, too. Like, it's good to hear, good to see, you know, you post a message that helped me out. I just like, oh, I thought I'd been helping the girls around me, women. But by uh, connecting, uh, posting something, Facebook, Twitter, something, actually, some people, they're picking up the message. So this is, is it, is it? Here's the thing, because if you really want to go help Japanese women, you have to make Japanese content. Yeah, yeah, I think I should. Yep. But so then it becomes, are you doing this just because it seems to be the thing that's working right now? Or are you doing this because you actually like this is the thing that you want to do? This is the things. I, I think this is the things what I want to do right now. Uh, I think I you know what? <laughs> I'm not quite sure, but this is the things what I want to do right now. But I kind of starting to clear, like I always been spreading out the message, but my message weren't clear. Like recently, 
one of my friends, I've known her for 10 years. I've met her in person. I've been connecting through her Facebook and everything. And I post something beyond my comfort zone, what I want to do. And she said, oh, that's what you want to talk about. I didn't know. So it means like, you know, because I wasn't crossing my comfort zone. I would just like post like everybody else with a little bit of a content. Right? Yeah. The, the yeah. more you lead by example and tell your story, the more people can follow along the journey and be inspired by it too. Mm -hmm. But switching the, the, the switching the direction, it's the same direction. It's just the different, it's a different audience. Yeah. So, and there's nothing necessarily wrong with it. It feels like it's only happening because you're getting more results in it. And that when mm -hmm. you post, you're getting more people who are Japanese responding to it than other women. Yeah. Um, I don't know if ultimately that's where you want to be, but if you want to, it's the language difference is the thing that's going to cause the momentum loss, right? Like if you, mm -hmm. if you stop posting in English, mm -hmm. you're going to lose momentum for any English or at least yeah. any non-Japanese. So you got to be okay with that because if you want to hit the Japanese audience, it has to be Japanese. I mean, they understand English. I am. Yeah. Right. Like the Japanese of all cultures, right? Like the Japanese, if you look at percentage of people who speak English, Mm -hmm. They all speak English. They all yep. learn it, but it's not. It's not like Japanese. It's not like speaking the native language. Yeah. Um, you would just do better if it was all in Japanese, but then you're gonna lose momentum on the English stuff. I know. That's the thing. I've been like, should I do this? Maybe not. You know. I it's really just thinking yeah. like, if you only had women from Japan, so understand. So, like, what kind of business are you gonna build? The only women who then would would be following you would be people who speak Japanese. Because otherwise, they don't understand, you know, mm -hmm. what you're posting. Um, most of those people would not be in your hometown, mm -hmm. right? You might have That's a couple. Right. I mean, and you're in Niagara, is tiny. Mm -hmm. But even Toronto, there's not a lot of Japanese immigrants. There are, but mm -hmm. but out of three million something people, the Japanese community is super small compared mm -hmm. to Chinese and Italian and you know all the other communities that are here. So most of your audience would be back home yeah. in Japan. Yeah. So you'd be building a business that caters to people who are not where you are, which is okay. Yeah. yeah. It just means the physical face-to-face -face yeah. events, groups, um, wouldn't really be happening for you. Um, and if you're going to do any coaching or consulting with people or service work, it's going to be at a crazy time because the time zone it differences. Is. Is yeah, nuts, it's like right? day and night difference, like 13 hours difference. Right. So it's either going yeah. to be like first thing in the morning, you wake up super early and you you, you talk to them or it's going to be super late at night. Yeah. And totally fine. Just what's the impact on your home life and whatever, you know, balance looks like to you. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you had a business that was only targeting Japanese women in Japan, mm -hmm. do you feel, so uh, what happens a lot of times is people feel then too limited. They feel too like put inside a box and they don't want to be in that box. Like it's too mm -hmm. small for what they want to do. Mm -hmm. So it's just understanding the box that you're building and whether you love that box or not. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is the point. I'm not quite sure, but I've been trying little by little by like, you know, okay, maybe let's do Facebook live. I've been doing it once in a while, just to build my confidence, just to beat my fear. Mm -hmm. But I just didn't really deliver what I wanted. Like, you know, the before, but now last couple of days, like, you know, I've been starting to kind of making a content like me being things, Girls, the confidence for the women, mm -hmm. feeling light. Mm -hmm. Like if you feel light, you have a light inside you. Like just kind of share your light, mm -hmm. be a light, yeah. right? So just like, you know, I've been just making a content for that with things and I try to kind of deliver the message. This is like, I've been doing, like this is my like only, I've been doing for three times actually. 
So I'm not quite sure that's going to be working because I know the follow Facebook followers, they connect because they're my friends. Sure. Like, yeah, but I'm not sure they are interested in. Like some people, they're still interested in, interested in old Yuko or like, you know, Yuko's doing cooking or family things. So, right? so here's the thing, like more, what I would align your thinking around is not yeah. what, what are your friends interested in? Yeah. It's more, what do you want to create? Mm -hmm. Like, who do you actually want to be? Who do you actually want to serve? And yeah. then start creating that. And yeah. Honestly, often it's not your friends who are the ones doing it. It's nice that they support you, but yep. if I look at my book, Built to Serve, yep. it's not mostly my friends buying it. I, I, I strongly agree. Like most of my friend, friends, they're just like, yeah, go ahead, but they're not really you know, into it, right? So you're yeah. not targeting your friends. Um, and even if, I mean, even if you were, your friends are too small a, a, an audience to build mm -hmm. something off of, right? Mm -hmm. So if yep. you have 10 people show up on a Facebook Live with your friends and they're all excited for you, great, but that's not a path to build a business. So no. it's now thinking, what, what do you want to be? Who do you want to be around? Who do you want to help serve? We know that it's women okay. for sure, but is it Japanese women that you want to serve only? Or do you love serving all women? All women's good, my goal. But like sometimes it takes me way too long to make a content in English. Okay. And then I'm not sure like my English, like, you know, people's going to understand my English. Like, but so it's easy for me to speak Japanese for now. I know I'm not going to giving up learning English because I live here too. Yeah. Yeah. So you're definitely easy enough to understand, right? I mean, thank you from every conversation I've had with you and people, you know, live <laughs> in the you. chat, like we can understand what you're saying. Yeah. Um, absolutely. It's harder to make any kind of communication, whether it's a video or written or audio mm -hmm. um, in a different language. Yep. So, you know, how much do you want to, to work on that skill and learn it? But will people judge you for it? Maybe, but, that's also part of the, like, be, that's how you build your confidence is going off and doing yeah. the difficult things. So maybe that's might be, I just get it. That might be also, also another fear I have to beat trying to speak English. <laughs> well, here's the thing. There's yeah. so many, like, if you're looking at how do I make content in English? Yeah. yeah. And now, now anybody who's an immigrant automatically connects to it. Oh yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. It's way yeah, beyond just... Japanese, right? Like, even even in general, the Japanese, um, the, the number of people who are, like, I think in any country, like, what country has a high, high degree of Japanese immigrants? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like, not a lot compared to mm -hmm. any other country. But, yeah. but, but for immigrants in general, there's so many immigrants in Canada and the U.S. especially, which is where... Yep. you know, the majority of your audience would be at the start, yeah. um, that if somebody here is watching and, and yeah, I think of Marion, who is uh, Romanian and his wife, uh, mm -hmm. you know, his challenge was speaking Romanian and English and worried that people would, he's got an accent. I mean, I understand him yeah. and, and didn't want yep. to make content. That's so many people. So those people will resonate with you as well mm -hmm. because you're mm -hmm. off doing it because they can relate to the challenge you're going through. Mm -hmm. as opposed to just being Japanese. But it's, mm -hmm. it's comes down still to a question of for you, would you rather be helping people who have that kind of language fear or helping people who are Japanese? Mm, right now, well, you know what? You're right. I have a little bit of both. That's why I'm still, you know, not 100% sure, right? Like, it's, it's nice because like, say like some people speak like English as a second language. I see some people making a content with an accent. It kind of helps me to encourage, right? Like, oh, okay. So yeah. it makes me feel better. Even Nina, and, Nina, like my wife, right? Like she's, she's <laughs> born in China and, and 
when she was making videos was still yep. super self-conscious about her accent and how she looked and all this stuff. I love her accent though. <laughs> you, but, but yeah, so logically it's easy to say that, but yeah. it doesn't mean that emotionally you still don't feel it. People might look at your videos and say, man, you're so inspiring. You're off there, you go with your accent doing it. Uh, but you still don't feel like it's good. Yeah. Enough. Yeah. I just myself is, you think so? You know? Yeah. It's just always somebody like another Yuko is telling me like your accent still a little bit of funny. You know, some people might think it's just wrong. I still have the fear right here. Sure. Right. So I know by training it, by practicing it, mm -hmm. I can get going up, get through it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I, I can speak a little bit better than a couple years ago. Yeah. And, and then every morning I write down, you go like your self love, you know, one minute, two minute videos. I study English. I write down, I listen, I write down everything and I post on, as you see, like my, Insta, you know, my Instagram story too. That really helped. So, Suki in the chat is saying she loves your accent and as oh. you speak, it comes from the heart. So, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> getting some love. But, but here's you. the thing. So like, who do you want to help? Yeah. That's, that's what you need to figure out. Help. And then you, you backwards engineer the process to helping them. Do you want to mm -hmm. help? It started off as women with confidence. So that, that opens up to the world. If yeah. you're saying Japanese women with confidence, now we have a different market. If you're saying immigrant women with accent issues, that's a different market. So if you think about who you want to spend your time helping in an ideal world, like you're mm -hmm. going to sit down and for me, it's entrepreneurs, right? I love all kinds of entrepreneurs. I love sitting down with a hairdresser, a confidence yep. coach, a, a gamer, like anybody who's trying to build a business and have a message. That's what I want to help. Um, if you could spend your day helping these kinds of people, who would you, who would those kinds of people be? You, you love helping everybody. You're, you're built to serve too, right? Like yes. you're, you're such a good, you, you love, you're like when you brought me, um, the butter tarts and the matcha <laughs> tarts and yeah. right. Awesome. But who are the people like if you could spend all day with these people, helping them grow and get better, who would you want to have in front of you right now to help? Uh, like what kind right, of people? what kind of people right now is what you, uh, Right now is, oh, I want to help the people. Right now is kind of close by me. That's, I really wanted to do right now. But I know like 20%, like I want to help the pe help the women, like, you know, like immigrant women or like somebody's just, you know, uh, like, going through difficult time, come to other country, going through difficult time and just try to build a confidence. Like I always have somewhere in 20% something in here. But at the same time, I, when I see somebody close by some Japanese girls and like you just, I have a hard time living here and that, I mean, like have this problem. It just like really hurts me because mm. I was there. So, so, so what's the 80% if 20% is helping the little bigger, like, you know, the, you know, things 80% is, I don't know. I probably, I like helping people kind of close by or something too. Okay. So then, so here's the thing and you're going to struggle with, with an online business, just talking to Japanese women. Oh, okay. Yep. Because it's all good. It's going to be over zoom and skype and yeah you, you could do like an annual retreat or you could go three or four times a year or something but if you mm -hmm. love the face to face you're just not going to get enough of that i understand yeah living here right i mean mm -hmm. you could, unless you're going to say i'm going to i'll move back to japan then it can work but yeah. there, aren't, there aren't enough japanese women here there are some and, and it, i would look at that as as your passion project i would look to get involved in the different community centers, um, the communities, the Japanese community center on, um, the DVP or the 404. Yeah. Uh, and, and any of the local organizations that deal with helping mm -hmm. Japanese people who are coming over because it's going to be a crazy culture shock. 
Um, so you'd be able to help out. I think even even more the 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 daughters of the people coming over because the mm -hmm. Japanese culture is so different. And yep. then now when you're coming to Canada or, or even America, the husband and wife might keep the same dynamic, but the kids growing up in a different culture is yeah. super yeah. difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's just, that's a, that's a, that's a part-time thing because there just aren't that many people who are in that category. Yeah. And it fills the soul, but it's hard to really turn it into a business. Um, so I would look at how do I do, how do I help women gain more confidence? And part of my time is going to be spent on helping the Japanese girls in my local community. Mm. Mm. I see. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not what you wanted to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. I, I, I understand. It's if I just like, Tourist Japanese. I knew it. It's not gonna. I need to make money. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about just the money, but money helps. I need to make money. Yeah. Right. And then I know it's probably. And then you know, if I keep doing what I'm doing, I'm not gonna make money. Too. Your your um. Your most fun making money will be coaching. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think, especially for you, it would be more experiential coaching. Where so, Okay, coaching. So I can do coaching like Japanese women, like, you know, uh, schedule the time, like I can do online. Yeah, I just don't think it'd be the ultimate um, happiness for you. I think, I think you want, I think the experiential coaching will be the best for you. Where, mm -hmm where you don't just talk to them, mm -hmm. but you have, you do something with them. Do so, something with them. Okay. Yeah. Like you, when I challenged you before, go yeah. film at union station. Like yeah. Busy yeah. Like that's what you do. You, you take them and you go with them to. Ah, union that's going to be fun. Yeah. yeah but I would your, do that. Yeah. Okay, I know you would. You see your eyes light <laughs> up, but like that, that's the, that's the, and then at that point, it doesn't matter if they're Japanese or Korean yep. or yeah. Italian or Canadian or whatever. And then you see them like be all panicking and uh, terrified. Yeah. And then and then coming out like, holy cow, I just did that. Holy cow, Yuka, we just did that. It's amazing. You're going to feel yeah. so, so much better, more Very than much. just something like this. Like even though you're yeah. close to me, we're only 45 minutes away or something. Mm -hmm. It's still mm -hmm. different in that it's just through a screen as opposed to actually being able to be with them and have coffee and then guide yeah. them and do something. So you'll, you'll never get that to a big enough spot being yeah. here and targeting Japanese women. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can, get it, though. Yeah. You can get a few people, but that's not a business. It's a part-time thing. No, no, and no. So that's where I think you're really going to shine and have the most success is the experiential coaching where you're doing something with them. Um, mm -hmm. It might even be so, a group thing, like maybe not even one-on-one. -on -one. Like even think about what TBS does with – or what, what you came to with the Thought Leadership Academy, mm -hmm. where it was 15 people and there was training, but then you had to, I see Dougie Fresh in the house where like Dougie Fresh took you out on the street and you had to, oh yes, yes. you had to rap and you had to do hugs and you had to do yes. whatever else, <laughs> mystery things Dougie Fresh yes. was doing. Yes. Um, <laughs> that, like you could do that, your version of it without the training part that I did necessarily it doesn't have to be a three-day okay. intensive but you could get I, I think you would i think you would love this if you got uh you know eight to 15 women okay to, to come for a day a mm -hmm. one day workshop where okay. you, you each had them share their story you go around share their story why are you here why don't you have confidence what are you trying to learn what are you trying to get better and even just having the a support group to share and talk about yeah is there any value and then, and then, every, then you have to go out and do something. Yeah, then you I have like, to go I like out. the part. Yeah, yeah, I think I think you would do really well. And so you yeah. have a you have a group package that's yep. cheaper per person. Yeah. And then, uh, um, if they want one on one time with you, then it's more expensive. But you're gonna you're gonna go with them to go yeah. do something. Okay. Okay. So that's like probably more. It's better for me. Suits me 
have a, some like you know small group of girls, and then meet to face to face, get together, and then just have a task, like okay, well just you know filming in like wherever, and then mm -hmm. do it, post it, right? Like you always do. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't it doesn't matter if they even want to be a thought leader or not. Mm -hmm. It's just the exercise of doing something that they're afraid to do to help yeah. build their confidence. Oh. Those exercises you being given to me, mm. they are they've been helping me a lot. You know how much I scared, but I yeah. just like, okay, I will do it. You know, at the union station everywhere. Yeah. Now I can talk. I have more. Uh, like I have more confidence. I can even talk, you know, on the phone, who cares, whatever, whoever thinking. So it's, yeah, yeah, I can maybe, that part, I can help out too, right? So I like the idea. So it's a matter of designing what does a one-day program look like, where maybe mm -hmm. in, in the morning, everybody's in a circle, yep. and just sharing what, you know, why they're here, and where they lack confidence and what their story is and getting support from the other women in the group. And then in the afternoon, you're off doing something, right? Okay. Like um, with Dougie Fresh doing a rap battle on the on Young Street outside uh, is not necessarily the skill set you're trying to develop to learn, right? But the yeah. comfort zone stretch of doing it and then yeah. getting the support yeah. of the people around. So it's not just you by yourself on the street corner rapping. You've got people with you, cheering yeah. you and supporting you is the thing that then helps you build the confidence. Or when you came in front of the camera and like I was filming your story, it's me helping coach and cheering and, and guiding you through the process. So I look at what is the program for you mm -hmm. and think about Yuko from a, from a year ago or two years ago, what would she sign up for that'd be really valuable? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then you do your first one for free and you just recruit, you know, eight women uh, who are following you or who, who may be of interest. Um, you ask your friends, family, like, hey, I'm, I'm looking to do this. Here's what it's going to look like. One day program. And then you get their testimonials. You record okay. videos with them. And then the next one is paid. Okay. Okay. That's and so, that's what I can do soon, right now. Not right now, right, right after. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, yeah. ask some of my close friends, some of my friends. I actually, I got like, you know, two, three friends. Mm -hmm. They're just about doing business or they ain't doing business, but I want to get better, right? But they don't have enough confidence. They don't even, one doesn't even want to show up their face, her face, but like, you know, those two girls, I can pull them out and then we can, I can do those one, two, right? Like, you know, okay, well, to take uh, pictures or take a uh, videos, post What's it. the one? What's the most important? So, like, the morning? Yeah. So, if you look at, let's meet at, we're going to meet at, you know, nine, and we're going to go till one or yep. noon, and you got three to four hours of just going around the room mm -hmm. sharing. Mm -hmm. So, that's that's easy to set up. You just need a, you just need a spot, right? Yeah. And you just ask them, why are you here? Tell us your story. Where do you feel you lack confidence? And then, and then just let everybody talk for 20 minutes okay. as, as you go around. And then you, you facilitate mm -hmm. with just the exercise of letting it out. For a lot of people, it's the first time they've ever said it out loud to anybody else. It's, they're just suffering in silence at home by themselves or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. maybe even too afraid to tell their, their husband um, about what's going on. So this, yeah. this would be a very therapeutic experience. Um, but just sharing alone isn't enough. So what's the activity in the afternoon that you can have everybody do? What's the single best activity do you think that would help women like you build confidence? Mm. What do you think? Activities. Mm -hmm. uh, if the girls around here, um, I'm going to let them shoot. No, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Well, maybe... Uh, Think of videos, 15 seconds video, stories or whatever. Just tell your name or what you like or something. It's, I'll, I'll start small for them. Okay. Or but, but it's would be like if you're in Niagara, mm -hmm. you go to the, you go to Niagara Falls. Okay. Or you go to like the busiest, I don't know what the busiest 
part of Niagara is Niagara Falls, right? I mean, yeah, Niagara Falls. You go to Niagara Falls, you go to the part where, where the falls are and there's everybody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you pull out your phone and record yourself oh. making a video. Yeah, that sounds good. Explain but, about falls. <laughs> Something. I mean, anything. You. It's just the idea of you're now on camera and you're afraid. And, and the other, you, t you go one at a time. You have the women go in one at a time. Mm -hmm. And they share their story in front of the falls with other people watching and the other eight people watching. And then when you're done, you're like, everybody claps. And then you go yeah. to yep. the next person. So that's your first, that's your first event. Okay. Okay. You spend the morning. So you need to be somewhere close to there so that you can ideally just walk there. Right. Like yeah. if there's a, if there's a library or a park or, a, um, even a restaurant that you can, you can book off a certain, uh, part of the restaurant for the morning. Yeah. Um, and then you walk to where the falls are and yep, then, yep. and then you celebrate, like you get some Niagara ice wine or you, <laughs> whatever whatever is fun to celebrate okay and and through it you're you're taking like instagram stories and you're then ask everybody for uh, a testimonial at the end to say here's what i learned from this event mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you try to you line up another one that then the next one is is paid okay so just throw the free one first just like kind of throw the part not party but throw see you know uh, let them experience. It's free first because you don't quite know what you're doing yet. That's right. Yeah. And you I don't, build I don't, yeah, I don't feel comfortable charging it. My, you know, if I don't know what I'm, if I do something, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's fine. But like, yeah. as you said too, you need to make money, right? You need to turn this I into do. a business. Yeah. So, and, and you deserve to, if you're giving people value. So the first step is free, your first yeah. cohort, just so that you know what you're doing. Yeah. And you know that there's value. And at, at the end of it, you can even ask everybody, hey, how, did, how do you, like, how do we make it better? I, I want to do this again, paid next time. Mm -hmm. What did you like? What do I need to fix? And even you just going through it, you'll have some ideas on okay. what to fix. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, yeah. Maybe the restaurant you booked is super noisy and there's kids yeah. screaming and it wasn't an a intimate place. Like, okay, next time better restaurant or maybe you booked it outside and there's thunderstorms and rains you're like you'll figure it out as you go yeah um, but then just know that there's enough value in here for the next one that mm -hmm. you can start charging for it yeah okay and so That's, your content yep. like it's hyper local now right it doesn't matter as much if somebody even in toronto sees your stuff it's how do i engage with like out if that's what you actually want to build up at least that's step number one. Um, it, it'd be updating your, your, your Instagram bio and your Twitter bio talking about what the events that you're putting on. Like I okay. help women in Niagara gain more confidence through mm -hmm. amazing experiences. Mm -hmm. And then I look to get as engaged as possible in the local community. Um, like on Instagram, you can type in Niagara and it shows you the mm -hmm. people who are posting from Niagara and mm -hmm. engaging with their content. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I get your, it. Because your goal is every month to have a new workshop filled with eight to 15 new women, mm -hmm. right? And that starts paying you. It, it could expand out to the point where like, you you sell franchises and in every city, there's another, you know, Yuko who's now delivering the workshop for you, <laughs> right? Or, or somebody came from Manitoba to Niagara mm -hmm. to take your workshop and then she wants to run them in Manitoba and you license it to her so mm -hmm. that right like this whole <laughs> it, it, it yeah. can scale up yeah um, but because you love meeting people face to face and seeing yep. them get the results oh, yeah. uh, and I think because how important the experience part is to it not just talking about things mm -hmm. I think I think going the Japanese route is not going to be the thing that ultimately makes you happy yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, I'm sure eventually I'm just gonna craving more for myself. Like yeah. you know, I want to uh, just serve more. And 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 the Japanese should definitely be a part of it. I think I would try to get involved in the local community again and volunteer. And yeah, um, if somebody is here that came, maybe even um, 
uh, uh, you know, what? No, most of them have money. I was thinking maybe even have one of your workshop spots open for free to a to a Japanese um, girl. But mm-hmm. most people coming here have money if they're coming from Japan. It doesn't mm-hmm. have to be free. But if if you're if you're volunteering at the community center, or just so the people here know that you're resourcing the community, um, or even a percentage of the people who buy are might be from the Japanese community. You should definitely do things in the Japanese community in Niagara and possibly in Toronto if they're doing some big events that is worth a few to go to. Mm-hmm. So that fills that part of your soul, but it's not going to be the biggest part to help you build your business. Yeah, I understand. I get it. But start, you got to start from there. <laughs> yeah, we'll start. Just like to I start would, close. Yeah. Start with your start. Once Corona's done. Uh, yeah, I know. You've got, That's you've the got, thing. It's like, you yeah. got your first event, but now, but it's planning. Like, it's it's maybe a little too cold to do it anyway. But right now, but you plan. You know, if if, mm-hmm. if it's April, spring in Niagara. You know. Yep. What what does your event look like? You know, yep. April April seventh, you launch your event. Who are your first eight to fifteen women going to be? Mm-hmm. Um, what are you going to do? Where are you yeah. going to host it? Where's the sit down? you know, spot, scout the location. So that's all the work that you can do right now. And mm-hmm. then start telling your friends and people about it to say you're putting on this event, April 7th. Um, mm-hmm. And hopefully Corona's all done by then. And if not, then you push it to April 27th, right? Okay. Um, and get I get it, front of yeah. your and then, on, And then honestly, like, pay attention to how it feels. I think, to be honest, I think it's going to feel so amazing to you. Like, oh, my God, mm. I can't believe we just took these 10 women and look what we did for them. That, that you'll would become... Imagine, yeah addicted to it and you want to like when's our main one happening <laughs> i want to have more I know let's things. get it going ASAP. yeah yeah but that's yes. what's missing like that feeling I is the know. thing that's missing that yeah. is preventing the momentum in your business that's right yeah so so is it okay just to building confidence or just like spreading out the message so can i still keep doing facebook live in japanese at certain times certain days can i just keep doing it anything japanese for you, it's just going to be a side hobby. Mm. So, can you do it? Sure, but yeah, it's okay. but it's not. It's not. I'm trying to build my business. Mm. So there's nothing wrong with it. Um, everybody has hobbies. I treat it basically as a hobby. It might it might become something way 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 down the line, but that's not the business that's going to be best suited for you. So. Um, yeah, keep doing it, but make sure you're spending time actually building up this business because, like you said, you need to make money. Otherwise, it's just going to be this hobby that you do on the side. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. I get it. <laughs> cool. Well, I'm excited. Oh, I gotta, yes, I got to make a plan. Make <laughs> I a have plan. Now's the time to make the plan and start recruiting. I know. Yeah, start yeah, recruiting. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I'm excited, to, I'm excited to see you go and – when you get your date launched, let me know. Okay, I will. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, Yuko. Thank you so much, Evan. Okay, much love. Thank you. All Bye. right, thanks. <laughs>